In the previous video, we had studied or learned about the wave nature of light and electromagnetic radiation. In this video, we're going to specifically talking about one particular concept called as black body radiation. But before that, the, the electromagnetic theory, wave theory, was able to explain the interference and diffraction. But it was not able to explain the concepts of black body radiation, photoelectric effect, variation of heat capacity of solids as a function of temperature, line spectra of atoms with special references to hydrogen. So um, the, the concept of black body and the photoelectric effect will be dealt with in this video and the next one. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the atomic spectra of hydrogen later because we, we learned that there were two concepts that is the dual nature of uh, light as well as the atomic spectrum, which was not able to, uh, which was not explained by Rutherford's model of the atom. So let's start with black body radiation. So when a piece of iron is heated, it changes in color. So what happens is when the, it emits radiation, first it becomes dull red in color. Then as the temperature is continued to increase, it becomes bright red. Then it becomes bright orange, then bright yellow, then white or rather yellow and then white. And then it turns to blue after further heating. So as you notice, there is a increase in sorry, there is a decrease in wavelength. So you have reds having a longer wavelength to a shorter wavelength and the intensity is increasing. So as the intensity will increase, the wavelength is decreasing and the wavelength starts to become, I mean, and it, the particle get continuously heated and then it constantly gets heated. And then in the end, it starts to emit radiation, which might enter the ultraviolet region. So this is, so this is the general observation that happens. So a black body is a substance which absorbs and emits all the radiation it has. So, and the radiation which is emitted by a black body is called as the black body radiation. No and no such object exists which acts as a perfect black body. Uh, so here you have an example of a black body is a cavity with a tiny hole in it. And this has no other opening. And so this will act as a black body. And also carbon black acts as a good example of a black body radiation. Sorry, black body object or a black body rather. Anyways, so there was a graph which you need to look at. Okay, here you have the wavelength and the intensity. So at a particular temperature, if you notice, all of these are temperature dependent. The intensity of radiation increases with increase in wavelength. So it increases with increase in wavelength. It is reaching a maximum position. This is called the maxima. And then it decreases. So here, if you notice, you have, let's say for 5000 Kelvin, you have the wavelength, sorry, the intensity increasing with increase in wavelength and it reached a particular maximum position and then it started to decrease. And um, it's the same for all these three. But notice when you have the temperature increasing, let's look at the maximum point. Okay, for 3000, it's approximately over here. For 4,000, it's over here, and for 5,000, it's over here. So the maxima is shifting to a shorter wavelength when there is an increase in temperature. But this concept of black body and this explanation, I mean, the explanation of the, re, I mean, as to why there is a decrease in the maxima value or the shorter wavelength of the maxima was not explained by the electromagnetic uh, wave theory. So that was, uh, so this uh, so this is one of the concepts which is not explained by the electromagnetic wave theory. The next video, oh wait. So in this video, we studied about the various phenomena that could not be explained by the electromagnetic wave theory and the black body radiation. In the next video, we will be studying about photoelectric effect.